Oh, okay. I got you. 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 Okay. 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 I got you. All right. All right. So, okay. I know where we're heading. All right. Hi, my name is John, and I'm a former Walmart employee of nine years. Hi, my name is Jade, and I am a former Walmart employee of two years. Hi, my name is Samuel Swanson. I'm a former Walmart employee of seven years. And today we'll be sharing our secrets to help you shop better at Walmart. Tip number one, the best time to shop at Walmart is... Definitely during the week. Because the weekends are very unpredictable, but if you do have to go during the weekend, the morning is your best bet. Me, I like late nights because most people are asleep. You pretty much can shop in peace and get whatever you want. Now, definitely when they don't restock. Some stores stock daily, others a few times a week. Definitely check that out. Tip number two, check Walmart's website before buying an item in store. Guys, have you ever bought an item literally to get home to find an ad on your Facebook that it was like $12 cheaper? Sometimes you can actually find better deals online than you can in person. So definitely price compare. Because if you find something cheaper, they are more likely to match the price for you. Why are there so many checkout lines, but only a few of them are open? The reason behind that is self-checkouts. One employee can run five self-checkouts as opposed to personally ringing you one person at a time. Everybody that's in Walmart, unless you're not a greeter or you don't work behind the cashier, you're gonna always be in training to be able to go and move different places. Honestly, like they want the guests to use the self-checkouts. And eventually there won't be any more checkout lanes at Walmart. It's just a faster method of getting people in and out as quickly as possible. Tip number four, use coupons to save you money. You can find plenty of coupons online from any third-party websites. And the great thing about Walmart is if your coupon says $5, but your item costs less than that, you actually get the difference back toward your remaining of your purchase. So Walmart is always killing it when it comes to deals, guys. Save your coupons. Tip number five, Walmart even accepts coupons from competitors. Now, the only rule to that is the coupon has to have an exact price to it. It cannot have a percentage like 20% off. Tip number six, shop Walmart's in-house brands to save lots of money. The great value in Equate brands are actually quality brands with the same ingredients as some of the larger brand names that you would see out there. From the cheese, to the milks, to the juices. They even have bottled water, guys. Tip number seven, look for refurbished and clearance items online to find great deals. A lot of people can't afford a MacBook. A lot of people can't afford Apple products. Refurbished electronics from online, a lot of times they still have the manufacturer's warranty. You really shouldn't have any problems with it. Tip number eight, there are some prescriptions that only cost $4. Walmart provides generic prescriptions just for $4. And this discount works for everyone. No membership required. Make sure you check out for that because you can save tons of money every year. Tip number nine, stay clear of store brand supplements. They are not worth it. Sometimes they don't have the ingredients necessarily on the label. They may not be as good of a quality or brand as you would think. And guys, trust me, you don't want to eat nothing you don't want to eat. So definitely you might want to splurge on some of your supplements. Number 10, don't bother with anything organic. Walmart is definitely about unbeatable prices and deals, but when it comes to organic, I honestly wouldn't bother. The other grocery stores are much better. Now, we all know, we really don't know what we're eating. Familiarize yourself with what cross-contamination is, because a lot of times once some of those fruits and vegetables touch other things, they're no longer considered organic. So I would definitely kind of look elsewhere for that. Tip number 11, look for day old items to get great deals. Definitely check out the bakery and the meat departments. You can get bread that was baked the day before at a great markdown. The same thing applies to meat. Whenever they're one day old, they always mark them down. The day old bread and some of the discount meats are gonna be the same quality. It's just the expiration date. So something may be expiring a few days sooner, but you're maybe paying half the price. So it's actually a great deal. And I'm not gonna lie, when you got a sandwich this long for four dollars, who is not gonna eat that? Tip number 12, if you don't want to get trampled on a Black Friday. We all know how there's usually a huge line on Black Friday of people waiting outside of the store. But 
you can avoid that by getting all your stuff online and get those same Black Friday deals. You can sit back in your pajamas and get the Black Friday deals all day long. And overnight shipping. Boom. Free of charge. Tip number 13, there is a free grocery pickup option you should use. Grocery pickup is completely free. You can avoid making impulse purchases while you're shopping through the store. And a Walmart employee even load your items into your car for you. It's quarantine. People are literally trying to stay six feet. So you can avoid lines, avoid the checkouts, and just sit comfortably in your air conditioned car while they bring them out to you. Tip number 14, Walmart has its own secret price tag code. Price endings with seven is typically the original price. So if you see a seven, you already know before you walk up to the register, give me your money. Price ending with a five or a zero are gonna be the first markdown. This price can be better, but still may not be the best you get. Prices ending in a one are usually the final markdown of the item. Make sure to buy that item because it'll be the last time it'll go down. And the last tip, if you don't want to remember that code, Walmart does offer price protection on items that you purchase within seven days. So just keep that in mind. There are some exceptions though. So clearance items, special buys, Black Friday and Cyber Mondays. However, most items do qualify for that price protection. The special buys, values of the day items. Oh, damn. Oh, hey, you this didn't one know what? <laughs> You see, I am flabbergasted! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I hope these tips and secrets help you be a better shopper at Walmart. Be a better shopper! Save that money! Save that money, man. I think that's it, bro. That's all I can give out of you, man. <laughs>